We've all been there before. One moment, hype for an upcoming game is at an unprecedented high, and in the very next, those same dreams are dashed away by an unexpected cancellation. The heartbreak of video game cancellation is a sad reality of the industry, and over the years, quite a few gaming projects have been canned before release, some of which looked like they could have been classics if given the chance. These 10 cancelled games in particular broke our hearts. Number 10. Chrono Break While we don't know if Chrono Break was ever actually in active development, Square Enix filed a trademark for it in 2001 with the obvious intent of producing a sequel to Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. Both of those games are considered classics in the industry thanks to their engrossing stories, engaging gameplay, and absolutely brilliant musical scores, so as you can imagine, excitement for Chrono Break was incredibly high. Unfortunately, Square Enix never did anything with the Chrono Break trademark, and to this day we are still waiting for a third game in the Chrono series. Square's unwillingness to create Chrono Break could be due to a number of factors. Perhaps they still think Americans don't like turn-based games, or maybe they would simply rather focus on their bigger series like Final Fantasy. Whatever the case may be, the strong sales for Chrono Trigger on the DS show that there is a market for a classic, turn-based JRPG, and it's safe to say that the world is ready for Chrono Break. Number 9. Conquer Gittin' Medieval Fans have been clamoring for a new Conquer game since the classic Conquer's Bad Fur Day released on the Nintendo 64 in 2001, but outside of a misguided episodic Project Spark spinoff and a remake, Microsoft has done little to sate the appetites of Conquer fans. What's worse is that we've recently been made aware of Conquer Gittin' Medieval, a cancelled Xbox sequel that would have had a multiplayer focus. While some fans would prefer a traditional single-player Conquer experience, there's no denying the franchise's multiplayer chops in both the original and the remake, and so we have no doubt that Gittin' Medieval could have been a great game when all was said and done. Number 8. Dead Rush As it turns out, Treyarch's affinity for the undead didn't begin when they introduced the beloved Zombies mode to Call of Duty. On the contrary, there was actually a time when the studio was working on an open-world zombie game that was described by the press as Grand Theft Undead. The project, called Dead Rush, was originally in development for 6th generation consoles in 2005, but was shut down before release probably so Treyarch could get to work on Call of Duty 3. Quite frankly, we would have rather had the exciting open-world zombie game, which was still a fresh concept in 2005. Number 7. Earthbound 64 Earthbound 64 was going to be the first 3D entry in Nintendo's quirky RPG series, but after a long development cycle plagued by slow progress, the game was eventually cancelled. Earthbound 64 is unique when compared to the other games on this list though, and that the story for it was still produced, and eventually redesigned to be a Game Boy Advance title. There has never been an official release of that game outside of Japan, but maybe the recent Wii U releases of Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings are an indication that an official translation of the third game could be on the way. Number 6. Mega Man Legends 3 The story of Mega Man Legends 3 is a sad one for any fan of the series. Series creator Inafune left the project in the midst of its development, and then, after its cancellation, Capcom had the audacity to blame the game's cancellation on a lack of fan support. This sparked outrage against Capcom, which has continued to grow thanks to Capcom's unwillingness to properly use the Blue Bomber. While we may never see an official Mega Man Legends 3, Inafune is working on a spiritual successor called Red Ash. It's not a genuine Mega Man Legends 3, but the game is as close as we can hope to get to a sequel to the cult classic series. Number 5. Prey 2 the first Prey game spent a ridiculous amount of time floundering in development hell, so it's no surprise that the planned sequel, Prey 2, suffered a similar fate. After spending some time in development at Human Head Studios, Bethesda moved the game to Arcane and then abruptly cancelled it. The game was set to be a departure from the first, and that it would have open world elements and star a brand new bounty hunter protagonist, while still retaining some story ties to the original. As fans of Prey, Prey 2 is at one time one of our most anticipated games, and we hope to see it resurface in one form or another in the future. Number 4. Silent Hills The pain of Silent Hills cancellation will probably never subside. The game was poised to be a horror masterpiece, combining the talents of Guillermo del Toro, Norman Reedus, famed manga writer Junji Ito, and of course, the legendary game designer Hideo Kojima. Its enthralling playable teaser had horror fans salivating at the thought of a full-on horror game from the twisted mind behind Metal Gear Solid, and it still stings when we remember that we will never see this project come to fruition. Number 3. StarCraft Ghost 
Originally announced in 2002, the third-person spin-off, StarCraft Ghost, wasn't officially cancelled until 2014. The game was to star a character named Nova and featured a stealth-focused single-player and an action-packed multiplayer meant to give players a personal view of the RTS action that defines the series. StarCraft Ghost seems like it could have been one of the most interesting spin-off games out there, but we'll never know for sure. Number 2, Star Wars 1313. Imagine a Star Wars version of Uncharted starring Boba Fett instead of Nathan Drake. That's essentially what Star Wars 1313 was until Disney bought LucasArts and canned the project. However, fans of Star Wars hoping for a high quality third person action adventure game based on the franchise shouldn't fret. Even though it's a bummer that Star Wars 1313 has been cancelled, Amy Henning, formerly of Naughty Dog and the Uncharted franchise, has joined the ranks of Visceral Games to work on a mysterious new Star Wars project. Visceral is best known for their third-person Dead Space series, and Amy Henning is best known for writing story-driven games, so it seems likely that their mysterious project could be something in the same vein as Star Wars 1313. Number 1. Titan Blizzard has already conquered the MMO world with World of Warcraft, but why stop there? For seven years, Blizzard developed an MMO that was meant to revolutionize the genre, but like all the other games on this list, it was killed before the development could wrap. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding Titan, but it was once described as Destiny meets The Sims, and would have allowed for players to partake in non-combat roles as well as traditional death matches. Titan seemed like a truly unique MMO, and we would have loved to try it out. While these 10 games all had huge potential to be great, there have been many other video games announced over the years that were also cancelled before development wrapped. Which cancelled gaming projects do you wish made it through development hell? Let us know in the comments! Be sure to click the subscribe button and check back for new original Game Rant video content every week. Thanks for watching!